Alrighty, well, this is an absolute Hail Mary. The sun's just going down. We just had a disappointing encounter with a big white tail. But we got a herd of mule deer, and it's actually the one we were after starting the day that we couldn't find. There's a big stud mule deer with a herd of does. And Kendra and I are closing the distance in a mile field. Got the heads up, mule deer buck decoy because I feel like he's gonna posture. We're gonna try to get him headed off to where he's gonna come challenge. He's a big old heavy sucker. So we're gonna check it out here. This might get interesting real quick. Just trying to push his doze off. Well, the mule deer won that battle. There's about 30 head, and uh, they just kind of worked off into the sunset. So, another somewhat disappointing day for Kendra, but uh, we gave it our all, and we're gonna possibly give it a try again. If not, we had fun trying. There he is, look at him. The caught me running a little late this morning. West Coast killer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, get in on him, put him down, and I guess go to film it. <laughs> well, just pulled up to J Rods. It's the morning of Halloween. And uh Jared's carrying an antelope helmet. <laughs> um couple reasons for that. Jared uh decided it was time to pull the trigger on a mule deer the other night, which is okay. Um, one thing I figured out, well, there's a couple options here. Jared is either one, afraid of the camera, because he always kills something without me filming, or two, or two, he's trigger happy. But looking at this thing, I don't blame him. I mean, a very good representative of a mature Kansas mule deer. I mean, I'm I'm barely be able to get my uh, hands around him, so I think he did good. What do you guys think? Yeah, hold him up there. Look at that. A proud Kansas rut hunter right there, and uh, thankfully Jared um, has volunteered to be full-time cameraman now. We were gonna switch off back and forth during our rut vacation, but now uh, Jared's gonna strap on and uh, come with. So this morning, what the goal is, is uh, we're gonna spot for deer first thing this morning. It's gonna be warm today, 60 degrees, it's a full moon. Not looking for a lot of movement, but it is close to the rut, so we may see some big bucks up scent checking. If we can get an eye on something bedded down, we're gonna go in crawling if uh, he's big enough, so. Otherwise, we're gonna switch over to antelope hunting, which is, uh, it's only archery season right now and it's the last day. So, um, as you know, I'm chomping at the bit to get an arrow and an antelope and I've failed so far. <laughs> so, it's uh, time to get one down and uh, we're gonna head after it this morning. We, uh, we have located a giant mule deer and he's a buck that we know well 
we watched him for a few nights last year. Kendra and I tried to get on him a couple times and just too many stinking eyes and uh, ended up not getting it done. We got through the year. He made it luckily. This is the first time I've spotted him. I'm gonna dedicate my season to this deer just as long as we have access to all this stuff. And I gotta make some phone calls and stuff and we'll get some stuff figured out. But anyway, we've spotted him this morning. He's pushing another really good buck around up in some corn. It's probably like 15 to 20 does at least. And so it's gonna be a tall task, but uh, I'm in for it. We are in for it. We are uh, gonna dedicate the day to trying to get within bow range of this dude. So anyway, we're gonna take some more photos of him, hopefully watch him bed down and uh, let the wind come up. It's supposed to be a pretty good 17 mile an hour wind today, which is perfect for what we need to do. And uh, it could be a one and done again. Uh, last year we tagged out, I think November 2nd and didn't even get into the rut vacation. And uh, it could very well happen again early this year. So Jared's behind the camera. Uh, he tagged out the other day on a beautiful shot on a nice mature mule deer. And uh, now we're gonna dedicate some time to this big dog, so. Not going to throw out numbers, but he's big. He's a big, big, big mule deer.
this. I don't even know which buck it was, but I think there were two of them. I don't know. I can't see them no more. No, he's still here. He's still here. Well, uh, I guarantee you my season's over. That was like point blank. That was the big target buck we came in after this morning. I know there was no A roll. There wasn't much B roll of anything this morning. But we literally knew we needed to get to the south end of this little plot right here. And we thought the last place we saw him was right here. And we literally, we said, let's get down here in the shade Let's look at the south edge of this field. And I, I took like five steps into this little drainage, looked to my left, and he's standing there. Luckily, I had the heads up decoy in front of me. I had him up, the buck seen it. I kept messing around, moving twigs so that I could get a shot because it's so stinking thick in here. And finally, he got curious enough to walk this bottom. He came all the way across. I had to let the decoy down because it was so stinking windy and I could not get him in the ground. I let that decoy down. The buck knew that he had saw something. He came in here to four yards and he was looking for a deer. I came to full draw with him at seriously, seriously, I could have jumped ahead and grabbed him. Like he was right here. All I know is that was the big one because I seen the big frame. He was, he's a good heavy buck. I don't know what he's going to sort. It doesn't really matter. I was after a good, solid, heavy, big, mature mule deer is what I wanted this year. And I don't know if it's the same one as last year. It doesn't really matter. He's a big buck. I'm excited. I'm pumped. My buddy Jared with me. My goodness, we're done already? Man, Congrats. literally four yards. The Hoyt, the Grim Reaper. I didn't really need an accurate bow at this moment. I could have, I could have had a long bow. And uh, not that they're not accurate, but I'm certainly not accurate with them. A machete or a Bowie knife or, you know, we could have pulled the Tim Wells on him. You didn't see him until he was right here. I was trying to look through here and I still, I had the screen on him and I, he was so camoed in his weeds. And I was looking at the bottom. I was looking past him like he was filling the screen of this yeah. thing. Well, everything happens for a reason. I seriously was not planning on shooting a deer today. Honest to goodness. I'll be honest with you. That's the way it works all the time. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Lord. Come with me. Leave that rolling. Let's go up here. So, so right here to your left, he was literally right up against that V tree right there. Like when we came down in here, he was laying right in this bottom. I want you to do come back in here right there and I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this decoy down and I'm gonna show you he's looking into the sun yeah. so look back here oh yeah 
So he's he's up here looking into the sun, and and then all you can see is a silhouette of a decoy. I'll go back and pop it up. Literally comes right. I can't even get that close to the camera. I am zoomed all the way out. He came right through here. And this is the end. That's about where he was at. Right here. I, I literally can almost give you a high five from here. <laughs> he, he, he was, this is where he was standing when yeah. he got shot. No that. kidding. That heads up decoy just got his attention. Travis gave him a little like a bomb bleed or something. Just a little noise to get his, and he just, like he had no clue. That's just unbelievable. Get a, are you rolling? Yeah. Get a shot of that. There he is. Uh, hey. This is not a lot of place we've seen him. Well, he came up out of here and he made it through this fence somehow. Yep. And uh, can you see right here on the bale? He was a little drunk at this point. He made it another 70 in tip. Wow. What do you think, man? Let's go get him. I agree. I agree. What do you think of that one? Dude, that's a slammer. I mean, he's just a stud. He's I, he he's just, just real heavy. Just he goes, a big old heavy mature mule deer buck. He goes straight and, up and it's just super heavy. That's just uh, he's awesome. Congrats, man. Thank you.